Ooh, look at my hair. Don't lend. Don't lend. I live for it. Is it given? The curls are given, right? I know. I know. Happy New Year, guys! <laughs> Sanbonani Ninjani Kamalamu Jordan Gibu wa Jetko aka Tandiwe Walina. But the hot thing, Dumelang Libito Laka, Ki Jordan Gibu Jetko. Oh my god! Guys, I nailed the sutu. Did I? I think so. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, special, welcome to you. And if you're old, thank you so much for coming back. The family has grown. I know I've been off for a while. I'm so sorry. Um, life has been happening. 2023 came in, it was just. <sighs> We just got so busy and like, but I've got you guys content wise. I'm going to be coming with bombers content. So please subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification and give this video a thumbs up. On the channel, we talk about God because I'm a Christian like that. We talk about adulting because I feel like adulting is really hard and let's talk about it. It makes things easier. And also we talk about life in South Africa because I'm foreign like that. If you do not know, I am a Cameroonian based in Johannesburg. Go Gauteng. Hello. <laughs> Guys, today on the channel, I'm taking everything back to holiday. We're just catching up. Just a few catch up. But before any further ado, I think we need to involve the God Factor. And on that topic, the one thing I want to share with you guys, it's a very basic, very basic scripture that everybody knows. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life right i want you to look at this on four points for god so loved the world read my lips for god so loved you that he gave his only begotten son that if you believe in him you shall not perish but have everlasting life just imagine like like the lady when i thought about this thing now a lot of us know this passage but it's like for god so loved the world imagine that boyfriend that girlfriend of yours telling, oh i so love this guy Oh, you know when you meet food, for food is like us, like, oh, I love this food. That's how God is obsessed about you. For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son. That if only you believe in him, you shall not perish but have everlasting life. So what are you waiting for? He's already telling you that he loves you so much. Beyond and above everything you've done, you know, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies are new every morning. God just loves you the way you are. Yes, you've stopped going to church. Yes, you've backslided. He doesn't care about that. He loves you and he's telling you, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back to him. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. And just to remind you that God so, so, so much loves you. If you think nobody loves you, screw them. Because God loves you so much. He is so in love with you that he gave his only begotten son. He's one, no, he's one and only child. That if only you believe in him. So he's saying you just need to what? You need to believe in him. And you shall not perish, but you shall have everlasting life. I hope you did get something. But also I'm saying come back to God, come back to church because God loves you the way you are. Right. Anyhow, next up, let's recap. The last time I was here, I was talking about how oh, oh, my hair is not done, my nails is not done, and whatever, whatever. Yappa, 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 biggie, busy everywhere. And I went and I did my hair. Look at my braids. I love this braid. But most importantly, I'm obsessed with the curls. Like, the curls are given. It's given me life. And the color mixture, I love it. Got my nails done. These are my second set of nails for this year. I did like another color. I think I'll post it somewhere here. I think what my nails were looking like for Christmas. I love those. Then I had to do those new ones. I think one thing that I really want to do in 2023 is just be a girl's girl. Like get my nails done, show up and show up. <laughs> and also one of the things that I really want to do in 2023 is just to become a better family member and a better friend. Because I've come to realize that adulting is hard. Depression is real. Like mental health is a big thing that people talk about, but we don't really take it to heart. So I just really want to be there for my friends. I really want to be there for my family members. And also life is not promised. Tomorrow is not promised to anybody. So I want to make it my goal that before a friend or a relative of mine moves to the world behind, they've experienced me. They've said, okay, wow, I did know that Jordan loved me and stuff. So those are, those are just what I want to do in 2023. Let me know in the comment section, what are your goals for 2023? And also I want to be a better Christian, serve God more as well. I'm already into doing that. So get ready to hear more of God on this channel. If you don't like it, sorry, but I gotta do it. 
yes so i'll be doing more of god as well also just being more of a better friend and a better family member i think that's a me catching up with you guys today's topic guys i've seen this video that's talking about oh christmas in south africa it's really foreigners talking about Christmas in South Africa, how their experience sucks and all of that. And I'm just here to make them understand the misconception they have in and why they feel like their Christmas is boring or whatever. Christmas in SA, it's not boring. The reason why you think Christmas is boring, number one, is because Christmas is a time of family. Christmas is a time of being together. And because you've moved out of your home country where you have your family, your friends, you're in a foreign land, you do not have that entire family package anymore, right? You can tell me that the amount of friends you have in a foreign land is less than the friends you have in your home country, right? So because you don't have that family factor or you don't have a lot of that family member, that makes you feel like Christmas is boring in a foreign land. But Christmas, it's not boring. It's just because that family factor or what we celebrate during Christmas, you are kind of limited to it. Yeah, you don't have a lot of family or friends. That's why you think Christmas is boring, but it's not really boring. And also, the second thing is that Christmas in SA, a lot of people are traveling, right? A lot of people are traveling to their villages. Mind you, like I always say in all my videos, Johannesburg is the city of gold. But the Egoli is where the Manchakura is, is where the money paper is, is where the Mandela is, is where we come and hustle, is where people come and grind, right? So a lot of people leave like the Limpopo, Eastern Cape and all of those areas to come work in Johannesburg. And when they work, so a lot of companies are in Johannesburg. And when it's holiday time or Christmas time, companies do understand that they need to close down for people to go and spend time with their families. So a lot of people travel back home to their families for Christmas. And that's why a lot of foreigners will tell you Johannesburg is very dry. It's very dry because companies are closed and a lot of people have got home so if you really want to experience christmas go to the rural areas go to Limpopo, guys yo i had the experience of my life when i went to eastern cape during december it was happening like what is that a video where this chick was saying that in nigeria christmas time there's a lot of celebrations it's the same thing in south africa like if you are in the rural areas i know okay the one time i was there there were like a lot of people who were coming from the mountain, right? South Africa has got this thing where um, all their culture were a boy to transition to a man. You need to go to the mountain. There are a lot of things that go on there. You know, it's cultural things. It's very secret, you know. But what I know is that the boy needs to go to the mountain and he goes through a process. And then after that, he becomes a man. So a lot of people after going to the mountain and coming back, their families celebrate that. So a lot of those things happen like around December time. So when I was like in the... Eastern Cape, like this family's son, they celebrated him. The next family's son, they celebrated him. So it was a whole, like there was celebration everywhere. Like it was busy and it was so fun. And I remember the one time that we also like, you know, you're gonna show up at everybody's house. Like you would go there five minutes, you go to the next one, five minutes, go to the next one. Like it was really, and, and then the last family that we went to, um, they were singing and people were singing with bottles. Like they were making music with bottles. Yes. yes. There was this chick who was leading singing that lady's vocals was on fire her vocals was on point like in the song she was leading and people were just singing and grooving so i can tell you for a fact right christmas in south africa happens in the rural areas the festivity the enjoyment happens in the rural areas in the villages because there's a lot of partying going on there's a lot of festivity going on you know so the whole misconception about that, okay, Christmas is not really boring. It's just that you're in the wrong space, you know. Try next time, go to a rural area. And also be in a place where at least you know somebody. Because that will also make you feel free to also enjoy the people and the space, right? So like I said, in Christmas period or during Christmas period, a lot of people are traveling, right? So travel is a big thing. People are traveling home to be with their families. And you who doesn't have a lot of family, you're stuck in Johannesburg, so... That's why your Christmas is kind of like boring, okay? And the other thing that um, people say was that um, during Christmas period in SA, um, things are cheaper. Yes, no doubt, things are cheaper in terms of food stuff, in terms of clothing item. And in terms of clothing item, it shows you how Christmas is not underrated because people still buy a lot of clothes for kids. You know when you're older, like, 
I feel like for me, like I'm over Christmas. I'm not expecting new clothes. I'm not expecting. I mean, I drink. Uh, I drink like most part of the year. I'm eating meat most part of the year. So new clothing is not a thing. But I know that for the younger ones, it's still a high. And one thing that I know is so different in this part of the world is like there's the whole thing of Christmas tree. There's a lot of gifts and like gifting is a big part of South African Christmas. Like just giving people gifts, receiving gifts and just celebrating together as a family. I know that that's one thing about that part of them. So also in terms of, of food stuff, things are cheaper. A lot of shops are doing sales, you know. But in terms of transportation, because a lot of people are traveling home, the taxis and the transport industry, it's a, it's a time for them to make money. So I know transport gets a bit expensive. So a lot of people always buy their tickets or whatever just before or maybe like October, November against December. Because in December, things become more expensive. Flights are more expensive that I know for a fact. And also people also go to like... Um, different towns like people go to like your durban your cape town to enjoy christmas so also in those areas accommodation also becomes expensive you know? those are a few things that are actually expensive in south africa during christmas period but for food in food items ugh, it's all cheaper because there are sales and all of those things right then the another thing that is also in south africa okay growing up in cameroon i did not really know about the corporate world because i did my family people don't work in the corporate world we were mostly self-employed but in south africa what i know is that the in the corporate world there is something they call bonuses that they give people that is your salary they give you a full your full amount of salary in december as well because i understand that it's a time where people need to buy and you know just buy things and go home so in most companies people get bonuses i don't know if it's a it's a labor law um, a lot of companies i know that they do give out bonuses during christmas time or during december another thing that uh, like i said also people think that the enjoyment is underrated no in south africa as well the Christmas, it's lit. Like, if you go to where the locals are, like I said, I remember the one time when I was in the Eastern Cape. Like, people spend their time by the ocean or by the lake. There was Brian, and it was so packed. It was so packed. Like, it was happening. Like, so, I think for me, South African Christmas, it's not underrated. It's not boring. It's beautiful. It's great to experience. And also, there are also concerts that you can go to during December period. Like, if you don't have family and stuff. There's also the, and another big part about Christmas is just how the people are so intentional about decorations. Like before Christmas, you get into the mall, woo! Like you can feel Christmas in the atmosphere. Like the malls, everything looks beautiful. There are Christmas decorations everywhere. Malls, shopping center, you can feel like Christmas in the atmosphere, you know? So for me, my Christmas experience was not boring. Christmas was not boring at all. On Christmas day, um, what did I do? I went to church in the morning, yes. And then we also had a family time where we bride meat, we had drinks, you know, just to get as a family, we act together she said or you know we spoke and it was so beautiful because um i think this christmas was really different for me because it was one of the christmas where i got to learn a lot about my roots i got to learn about my about myself you know just knowing where i come from who i am you know just knowing how okay i used to know where my names my names came from but not really understanding okay what happened when i was born okay how are things you know so that also just gave me a better perspective to maybe the kind of adults i want to be in 2023 you know so christmas was really good for me it was amazing I had time with my family a lot of gifting went through received clothes received gifts received money obviously <laughs> the money was very important i had a very great christmas you know christmas was beautiful for me you know like i'm saying even look at my hair i had a great time i really had um and also um i also had to mend some broken friendships um caught up with some people and it was just really nice for me so you tell me in the comment section how was your christmas experience you know and also people need to understand that you know when you're in a different stage of life like now i'm an adult i think i'm an adult i believe i am an adult <laughs> um, when you're an adult christmas is different from when you are a child you know because when you're a child a lot of things that get done for you you know the cooking the outfit the shoes but now you're an adult everything comes from yourself 
Every single thing needs to be paid for by you. The clothing, the food, and the shoes. So, and I don't think it's not easy. So you have to be really careful about how you spend the money or, you know, or how the money goes and things like that. But overall, my South African Christmas experience was amazing, very beautiful. I would definitely do it again to go to another place, maybe to Limpopo, perhaps, like a local area, and just sit with the people and enjoy and just, you know, get a different vibe and a different space. But my Christmas experience from the Eastern Cape was amazing. I would definitely do it again. Very lovely set of people. And yeah, that's it from me to you guys. Tell me how was your Christmas. I was just catching up. This whole video was just me catching up with you guys. Tell me what's your New Year's resolution. Tell me um, what your Christmas was like. I had, I had a blast. I had fun. I had a great time. And also please subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notification because I mean, <laughs> I'm coming back with content like content you you're not ready for like I'm coming back with more of content of like live in South Africa and the one part I really would talk about in my future videos would have to be the cultural aspect of South Africa like there's a lot of cultural things that are so different that are so amazing because I think me being an essay and knowing their culture made me more curious about wanting to know my roots knowing my culture why are things done a certain way if i do things this way am i right am i wrong you know because at the end of the day we are all africans and as african people we are defined by our culture our culture defines who we are and also this is another video that i'm gonna do talking about how people say why south african men don't marry foreign women and people are talking about oh there are more foreign men marrying South African women, which is true if you want to compare the ratio. There are more South African women marrying foreign men more than South African men marrying foreign women. And I hear all this many reasons, but guys, and a lot of these opinions are given by married women. So to me, it's like, this is the one topic where I will talk with experience because I am a girl in the Mjolo land, okay? And I'll give you guys my experience. But that's another video for another time. So you want to be subscribed when I post that video, okay? I'm coming with more of like um, superstitious beliefs. Cause the whole experience in the Eastern Cape was, it was experienced. It was, it was, mm, it was. Mm. So you wanna be, you wanna stay tuned for that video. Please subscribe to the channel like I always say. Kina Lena. Kelly Boha, continue to be the wonderful, amazing person that you are. Because you make the world a different place. You make the world what it is. You make your friends happy. And you know, I kind of slowed down on my bubbly vibe until someone saw me. They were like, Jordan, what's happening to you? You're so calm. You're so composed. I'm like, people say I should be like an adult. They're like, what? We love the energetic you like that. So... Like I always say, continue to be the wonderful, amazing person that you are. Thank you guys so much. I am super grateful for all 642 of you. I'm super inspired. I know the 1000 goal. We're going to get there. I'm going there. Ain't nobody can stop me. So guys, take care of yourself. And I'll see you guys in my next video.